Ah, damn it, I did it again. Oh well. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again, and as you can see, I have gone and got myself another quarter arcade. This time it's the Bubble Bobble Cabinet, which if you've watched any of my arcade stuff before, you'll know I'm a huge fan of Bubble Bobble. Had it for the Commodore 64 when I was little and absolutely adore it. Every time I see it in the, the arcade, just have to play it. Again, like the Polybus, the arcade looks fantastic. The coin door, the marquee look absolutely incredible. The side art is just like you would have seen on the uh, the original arcade, the plain sort of title um, emblems on the, the side. I particularly love the, the coin door. The, um, the little coin slots actually light up when the power's on. Here we have the instructions of actually how to play, the power-ups, the, how the extend works, the name of the, the characters. Like, I, I was actually calling your man Monster Beluga. I have no idea where I've got that from. Um, it's absolutely cracker. I really think they've done well um, with this cabinet in particular, and I'm so glad I picked it up. Now, these cabinets are slightly different from Polybus as they've got an internal battery so they, they actually just charge up. This is why I was having a little bit of problem powering the thing up. I thought it was just a flick switch like it was in Polybus but no, you sure flick it, hold it down for a second and then it'll, um, it'll power up. So this is why I was having a little bit of a, an issue there but I think having the internal battery is such a great idea. Um, you can move them around and look at that marquee, that is absolutely beautiful. The sound quality on this cabinet again is fantastic for something so small. Look at the coin door, that's fantastic. That was another thing that I didn't realise as well. I'm trying to actually start the game by pressing buttons. The coin door returns coin is the credit button. I didn't realise that, I think that's such a great little touch. Uh, just listen to those speakers, like for something this small, that is a, a great sound quality. The uh, the ROM that they've got in here um, is the, the, the arcade ROM, so everything that you're, you're playing on this quarter arcade is just as uh, you would play it in the, um, the, the arcade. Down to the fact that they've actually just got a two-way gate on the, the, the joystick, it will only go left and right because that's all you were able to do in Bubble Bubble. You just went left and right and the button allowed you to jump and then fire your bubble. So I think that's a fantastic little touch rather than, you know, it's, it might have been cheaper to, to put a four-way gate in because they have it for their, their other stuff or, you know, like the their standard ones. But getting the, the two-way gate adds a little bit of nostalgia again to this cabinet. And just sitting there, this is going to be where my mini arcade sits. Polybus will probably get moved over there at some stage to, to, to join the others, but I think the Bubble Bobble it now sits pride in place in there. I'm, I'm gonna have so much fun building this thing up and I can't wait to get a few and then just start them all up with their, their attract modes. Um, final thoughts on this. I am not disappointed in picking this thing up. It's a fantastic cabinet and probably the closest I'll ever get to owning a proper bubble bubble machine. Again, check out Numskull, check out Quarter Arcades. You'll not be disappointed. The, the stuff that they put out are fantastic. Thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.